hey, so you have StarCraft Solo Create, or you have Shortcuts a lot, which I use, and you want to do a print and cut. So this is a rastered image. I just brought it in from my hard drive, and I'm going to click Trace. Then I'm going to make sure that Add Image Layer Print and Cut is selected along with Blackout. Press update. It doesn't matter necessarily that this is um, not black and white or monochrome. But one thing I, because you want to make sure that the print and cut section, the source of the image is checked as well as the blackout. Now, the blackout is going to make sure that all the little things, and I'll click preview, all these little things that's inside of the face and the clothes are not being picked up. So you black that out. Now we see that the arms are not blacked out. So let's zoom in. And we can see that this image is not very good, but we're going to use it because it's going down. Her arm is cutting off certain pieces. Her body is there. Her legs are there. Oh, yes. So for the purpose, let's see. I want to press OK. And when I hide this background, if you click in the layers panel, you'll see it says a print and there's a cut. What I like to do is I like to drag the cut and bring it up and then hide the print. And then I'll see if there's anything that needs to be changed. But something like this, say I wanted to make this a sticker. You don't necessarily have to, you know, go crazy about this. All you have to do is what I'm about to show you. So for right now, you can either hide or click the lock button just so that this doesn't be um, this layer that is the print is bothered and you want to click on the cut. For I'm going to hide it for right now. So because I want this to be a print and cut and I'm going to actually think that this is going to be say put on a book bag and or it's going to be made a sticker i'm going to first layer duplicate and i'm going to drag the cut back into or back underneath the um, main image i actually want this to go back inside of there there we go So now I have a copy of the outline. I'm going to go path, offset path, and I'm going to do regular type with the inch, a half inch, however much of you, however much you want in terms of um, cutting around the borders. But I'm going to go with the inch right now. And then I'm going to click on the brush tool and I'm going to leave a mark on this side I'm going to draw a line here and I'm going to go and I'm going to fill in this arm unless I wanted the arm to be there I'm just covering it up and then I'm going to go back to my move tool and I'm going to select all of those files. Okay, shift and click. And then you're going to go path union. And if you see that you have spots missing that might be cut out, you just go back to the brush, cover them up, and repeat the process where you gather all of those dots and go path union and then you can undo this one and as you can see even with this locked this would be the image that would be printed and the top one would be the image the cut file that would be sent to your scan and cut or your cricut and this way it didn't i did not cut out the inner part of the arm but if i wanted to keep this part cut out then I wouldn't have covered it because you would have to do the union I would have just fixed the arms 
And then you can see that there's a contour close enough around her. If this bothers you, where you can see that there are some inner gaps, you can always go and get the brush again and just make minor changes that will make that line bigger. And then you do the same thing with the union and whatever marks that were made, you would click the two by pressing a uh, shift or uh, holding down shift and clicking them and then you go layer i mean sorry you would go path and then go union and now you can fill out your line and i have a sticker <laughs>